So hi guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. Today we're going to be looking at the play date. Now you may not have heard of this before, or you may have, but it's been a couple of years since they actually announced it, and it's been quite quiet for some time, which kind of made me thought that this probably wasn't coming. But they've just had an announcement that pre-orders are going to be begin next month. I'm not sure exactly when it's going to launch, um, but at least we're getting some pre-orders in. And it does look potentially really cool. Now let's have a look at it. So the play date, obviously it's quite unique, it's yellow. Um, and it's got black and white graphics, and it's got quite a high contrast screen apparently. And it, the most distinguishing feature that it has is the side crank that it has at the side here. Um, and it's, it really is quite cool and very intriguing. So I'm really interested to see what it's got to offer, and what's in store for it, and what their plans are. So they've recently actually dropped a video of some more details, and there's a lot more information about the games that are coming, um, and some of the details are right, uh, really quite interesting. Um, it's unlike, it says, it's unlike anything you've ever seen. It's yellow, special black and white screen. It's not back lit, lit, and it does look quite high contrast. But it's got that little crank that uh, obviously makes it stand out from anything else you've actually ever seen. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we're going to maybe let's have a look at the video and some of the games that we might potentially see in some more details um, that they have actually released. So there was an official announcement um, today, which I'll leave a link in the description below if you haven't actually seen it. Um, and this is the actual device. And it does look really cool, and that crank is obviously so unique. Um, and graphically it looks quite cool. Um, but they also there's also some more information in the video here describing about the game that's going to be released and, and the price and details. Uh, unfortunately there's no release date yet, but there is pre-order information starting from next month. So the games are actually going to be released uh, in seasons apparently. So initially it was going to be 12 free games, but now it's going to be 24 free games that you will get. They're apparently no charge. You will get them um, as part of the unit and they'll be released like, I think it's two every single week to your device. And which is actually really cool and quite intriguing. I don't think it's clear what two you're going to get. It's really just going to be, a, I guess, a, a surprise. But let's have a look at some of the games I've actually shown here um, in the video. And some look really intriguing. Um, a lot of them are still probably in development. Here's the, the main game that they're, they're touting, um, which is this time traveling adventure game with a robot. And obviously it utilizes the crank very much so. It's going to be interesting to see. And um, what games utilize the cr crank as, well, some may actually utilize them more than others. It looks like there's a good mix of like, different types of game. We've got golf game, we've got the RPG by the looks of it. Um, very intriguing. All new games as well, which is quite interesting. And graphically, that is quite unique. Obviously, it's this black and white style, which kind of uh, looks a bit retro almost. But it certainly doesn't look underpowered, for example. It looks really good for what it's, it's doing here. So it kind of reminds me of the, the Pico 8 platform a little bit, whereas there's a lot of games out there and you can actually develop your own player uh, games, which is what they are going to push on here as well and give you the opportunity to make your own games and put them out there. This one looks really good as well. It's so unique. I think it's actually quite exciting. I mean, I think it's very different. And this looks like a California game style sort of title. I mean, even though I think the, the graphics are quite limited, you can see there is a lot of detail in that black and white graphics. So this is a new title that's currently being developed called Mars Midnight, which is really just a little sort of teaser to what's currently being developed, I think, and trying to utilise the crank here and different ideas and techniques. Um, it's difficult to know exactly what the final game will be here, but the way it's sort of utilised is, is really quite cool, I think. And I, th I think it's going to be up to developers how they actually utilise this crank and in, in, into the games. So there's a lot of other games in development as well, which is really cool. It seems like they have got quite a lot of support out there um, in all the sort of different games that have been made. So sort of some kind of driving game. It? <laughs> yeah, it's actually look really good fun to play. Thank you. 
I seem to have definitely covered a lot of different genres, that's for sure. <laughs> Some kind of fishing game. I think what you can see, there's a lot of very unique titles, obviously totally brand new games. Um, and I think that's what probably intrigues me most, is the different style of games. It's, it's offering something else here that nothing else is offering. And like I mentioned earlier, they are going to release this developer tool as well, where you can actually uh, make your own games and submit them in. A bit like, like I said, the, the Pico, Pico 8 platform, where just a web browser and you can actually create your own games and put them in. It looks like quite a simple tool as well. Um, so that's, it's called Pulp, which is, I don't know, that's intriguing as well. If that's right, right up your street, then by all means, another intriguing um, aspect of this play date. So price-wise, they are looking like they're going to retail at $179, which isn't too bad. I don't know whether that will translate to maybe £150 or it will just be a straight £179, I guess. But pre-orders are going to start next month, which as of this video it would be July 2021. And we've got a week warning. You should follow these guys on Twitter. And we'll leave a link in the description and you'll get a heads up if you are really interested in it. Guys, we'll leave all the links in the description if you're interested in buying one of these um, and you want to follow them on Twitter. Um, thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching. Me too, but this is a little different. We wanted to try something different and so we did the most difficult, different thing that you could possibly... Let's take another look. Say hello to Playdate. Oh, I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks. That means a lot. Here's a hand. Playdate fits right there. There's an A button, B button, D-pad, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, USB-C, all the hits. <coughs> Wait, what's that thing? That? That's the crank. crank. It's a crank. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, what is it? The crank. You crank it. Like this. It can control the games. It's fun. Now look at this. The display. Extremely high resolution. Is there a backlight? No, but the screen is super reflective. You can even play it by candlelight. Really? Maybe. Playdate was dreamed up by this company called Panic. They're in Portland. They love making things. And this is the first time they've made hardware. So they got a little help from this company called Tenient Engineering. They're over in Stockholm. This guy named Jesper came up with the idea for the crank. Okay, so who makes the games? Some people you've heard of, some people you haven't. You are so mysterious. I love it. So what are these new games they're working on? That's the best part. You won't know what you're getting, not until they Wi-Fi themselves into your Playdate. You know that feeling one? <laughs> That's a great feeling. And that's what Playdate is all about. A game appears, and then a week later, you get a new one. It's like a season of TV. A mystery surprise game that could be basically anything? Now you're getting it. How long is the season? 12 weeks, 24 games. All season long. You and her and that guy over there and everyone else will be enjoying these mystery surprise games you can't play anywhere else. And also this. Every Playdate can be used to make your own games. So, what do you think? All right, I'll do it. Great. Ready for your Playdate? Oh, and you can also get the snap-on dock with a speaker and a place to hold your pen. Oh my god. Hey, hey.